Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow right triangle ABC and this uh, green uh, semicircle fully inscribed uh, in a square EBCD, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, they are tangent to each other at this point uh, P. And moreover, the area of this uh, yellow triangle is 96 uh, centimeter square, whereas the center of this uh, semicircle uh, is O. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, shaded semicircle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know that uh, we are dealing with the square EBCD. Let me go ahead and label it side lengths. I'm going to call this side length A. Then this is going to be A, A, and uh, A across the board. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow triangle uh, ABC. It's a uh, side length. Uh, this is uh, A. Let me call uh, this other side length uh, as uh, lowercase b and we know its area has been given to us as a 96. Let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to half times a base a times a height. In our case our base is b, our height is a and our area is 96. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So it's going to become 96 equals to 1 divided by 2 times uh, A and times uh, B. And now let's multiply both sides by 2 to remove uh, this uh, fraction. And now we can see we got uh, 192 equals to A times B. So our A times B value turns out to be 192. Let me call this our equation number 1. And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, whole uh, side length uh, E B is uh, A and this uh, side uh, A B is lowercase b. So therefore uh, this uh, length uh, E A is going to be A minus B. And now let's recall the two tangent uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the same uh, external point, uh, then they are uh, congruent. So therefore, we can see that this uh, segment uh, CD and this uh, segment uh, PC are uh, congruent. They are equal uh, in uh, length. If this side length is uh, lowercase a, then this uh, side length is going to be lowercase a as well. And likewise, uh, these uh, two tangents uh, EA and uh, PA are uh, congruent as well. So this uh, is equal to this one, if this is A minus B, then this uh, AP length is going to be A minus B as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, AC length uh, is going to be the sum of these two individual length, uh, AP and uh, this uh, PC. So therefore, if we add uh, these ones, I can write A plus uh, A minus B that is going to give us 2a minus b. So therefore our ac length turns out to be 2a minus b. And now let's focus once again on this yellow right triangle abc. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. And our longest leg is 2a minus b and our other legs are A and B. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. We got A square plus B square and C in our case is 2A minus B whole square. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as uh, a square minus 2ab plus uh, b square. We are going to apply it uh, on the right hand side binomial. So let's go ahead and simplify. We got a square plus b square uh, on the left hand side equal to if we apply this identity on the right hand side we got uh, 4a square minus uh, 4 times ab 
plus b square. And now we can see b square and b square on both sides. They cancel each other out. Let me go ahead and move this uh, negative 4ab on the left hand side. And at the very same time, I'm going to move this uh, a square on the other side. So therefore, we can write uh, 4 times uh, ab equal to 4a square minus uh, a square. Let's simplify this one. So this could be written as uh, 3a square equal to 4 times uh, ab. And now we know that our a times b value is 192 from this equation 1. So let's go ahead and substitute uh, that uh, a times b value on the right hand side 4 times uh, 192. So we got uh, 3a square equal to 768. Let's divide both sides by 3 to isolate a square. So a square turns out to be 256. Let me go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. And here we can do square and square root cancel each other out. So therefore our a value turns out to be positive 16. So therefore uh, this uh, side length of the square de turns out to be 16 centimeter since uh, a is the side length. And moreover this uh, de is the diameter of this uh, green uh, semicircle. If the diameter is uh, 16 uh, then the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle is going to be 8 centimeter. So thus the radius uh, of this uh, green semicircle turns out to be 8 centimeter. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green uh, semicircle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square where r is the radius uh, of the circle. And in our case our radius is 8. So therefore the area of uh, this uh, semicircle is going to be pi times uh, radius 8 uh, whole uh, square. And we are going to divide it by 2 since we are dealing with the semicircle. Let's go ahead and simplify. So we got on the top uh, 64 pi divided by 2. So that is going to give us uh, 32 pi. So thus the area of this uh, green semicircle turns out to be 32 pi centimeter square. And in terms of decimal it's going to be equal to 100.53 centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.